guys, so today I'm going to do another makeup tutorial. This is going to be based on the four layer cheek technique. So this includes a contour, bronzer, blush and a highlight. Let's start with doing from bottom to top. So we are going to start off with our contour. I'm using a really dark bronzer for my contour. It is the Soleil um, Maxi Bronzer and it's sort of matte as well so it really works as a contour and I'm just going to apply it with this brush and when applying it you don't want to go straight down you want to sort of curve into your cheek so it's more natural Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my bronzer and I'm going to apply it with this brush and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the contour so I can soften it up and make it less of what this is and just go a bit over it as well. So. Okay, so after you have after you've applied your contour and bronzer, you want to go in with a light blush or a blush that isn't too harsh because I think a harsh blush can really ruin a look and make you look five. So I'm just going to be using a generic blush that comes in this sort of pack. It's at the back, and I'm just going to be using this lighter one. I'm going to apply it with an angled, um, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to do it at the apples of my cheeks, just a bit behind that and just go and work into my hairline. The last thing I'm going to apply is a highlight and this is the main reason I've done this video is because I got this new Revolution highlight um, palette and I absolutely love it. The colours are just, the colours are nice but the way they come out is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, these three colours, so it comes in like a whitish sort of highlight, a pink one and a purple one. So I'm guessing the pink and purple are for putting on top of a blush. And yeah, so if you do have a fan brush, apply your highlight with a fan brush because you get a lot more product on and it doesn't seep into the brush as much and it just comes out really nice. But Unfortunately, I don't have one and I am going to get one soon. For the time being, I'm just going to use this really thick looking brush. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the whitish highlight to just above my blush, like right under my eye. And I'm just going to sort of swell that up into my temp onto my temple. And then the same on the other side. But you want to be sort of careful with your highlight because if you put too much, it look, just looks like you're putting glitter on your face and it's just horrific. So the next thing you want to do is add in a pink. If you want to, if you have this palette or a palette like it, you just want to add in your pinkish sort of highlight just right under that highlight you just applied on your blush. So it sort of makes your blush seem shiny but only a little bit of your blush to seem shiny so you just don't overdo it you know <laughs> and then again you just want to do it on the other side and that looks really nice I'm sorry I'm moving my head so weird it's just I'm trying to get the natural light to hit it and see how amazing it's looking and then this is an optional thing but I actually want to do it because my contour seems to be really gross looking right now. If you have a powder that's your skin colour or just like a shade lighter maybe, you just want to apply that with a normal fluffy brush right under your contour to sort of sharpen that up. Yeah. <laughs> I think this actually does look a little bit too harsh so I'm just going to go in with the same brush and just sort of work it back a little bit because it goes a bit too far in for my leggings. Okay, I think 
notes bar. <laughs> All right, so this has been my four stage um, cheek look, starting with contour, bronzer, blush, and highlight. And yeah, I really do like this because it adds so much to your face. It adds so much definition and it just looks fabulous if you do it correctly. And I don't really think I need any more makeup to be honest. This just adds so much definition. I would recommend doing this, but not as an everyday sort of makeup look. Be like, oh my God, what's going on with your face? Why is there no definition the day you don't wear it? But yeah, it is amazing. I really do like this sort of makeup look. and. When you have like the right products to do it with, it just looks A1, it looks perfect. Thanks for watching guys, I really do hope you liked this um, tutorial. If you did like it, give it a massive, massive thumbs up. Definitely share this and comment what you think I should do next. Um, if you did try this out, tweet it to me or um, tag me in it on Instagram because I'd really love to see how you've done it. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and see you next time, bye. You